Science World Science of Cocktails. It's my second year covering this event, and last year it was actually a lot of fun. I think this is one of the events in Vancouver that's definitely worth um, the bang for its buck, just because you get to drink as much as you want, eat as much as you want, well, within like your bodily capabilities, I guess. And I'm excited to see what new stuff there are this year, so let's go check it out. First drink of the night. Cheers! Well, it's nitro? Maybe? I'm trying. Honestly, I kind of like this more in a nice form. I don't know if I would have enjoyed it in a drink form. It feels good, it's very bitter. But there's a lot of bitters in it. And it feels like it's more meant to be a more fruity refreshing drink so having it in a nitro form makes it even better turns out that was a gin and tonic i didn't even realize and i'm not a huge fan of gin so maybe this is the new way to have it too is because yeah. when we make a perfect gin and tonic at our bars which has like a garnishment of cucumber and mint right. and usually customers just throw that away right. without wasting it we've just turned it into a toothpaste so it's 100% nothing is wasted you make it part of the experience yeah, yeah nothing, I like it a lot it's nothing's cool nothing's wasted in this process and just with the heat from our own breath
old-fashioned. So you can find this cocktail uh, in the regular form at the Keg Steakhouse. I have that at Club 7, uh, fresh, uh, fresh honey and bitters. And we're just doing a little bit of a science version with a little bit of fusion. So have you got the banana flavoring in this one? In the honey. Just, in the, absolutely, 100%. Honey. There we go. Thanks. Oh. Oh, this is strong. Yeah, like this is it. one of those cocktails where you can actually taste the alcohol, but it's still really, really nice. It's as sweet as it is strong. So I actually like this one a lot just because there's a bit of sour notes to it. It makes it feel less alcoholy almost. The one with the infused honey just felt as strong as it was super sweet, whereas you could almost nurse this one. Yeah, it just goes down so smooth, so easy. It's probably one of my favorite ones so far, other than the the toothpaste gin and tonic. There's fire, and there's smoke, and oh there's all God. sorts of great stuff going yes, on here. Is. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a Walter Caesar with a thyme-infused, locally made vodka, okay. organic mango, Mexican spice, and a rosemary smoke on top. Okay. Well, usually when you smoke something, you think it would take a while, but they're smoking it so instantaneously. I wonder if you get the taste right away. Wow. It's almost like by smoking it, you get like the baconness of it without adding bacon in it. That's what gives it that little sizzle. It's good. I mean, do I still want bacon in mine? Hell yeah, but good. It's ice cream instead of ice. Thank you. Oh man, just tasting that smoked Nutella. Oh! It's a very desserty kind of cocktail. I mean, Nutella and ice cream, obviously. It's not what you think when you first think of whiskey. It's almost like a soda, you know? Because it's fizzy. So that's what makes it almost not as alcoholic as you think it would be. So the ice cream is actually peanut butter ice cream which really seals the deal for the entire situation for it to be a dessert cocktail. about the signs of cocktails isn't that it's just drinking as much as you want whenever you want which is part of it but you're also getting bartenders who are really innovative with the way they're trying to make cocktails and they're really trying to incorporate science in any way they can it's just fun along with drinking which is in itself already a fun activity so we've taken Hendrix gin we've infused it with the petals of the butterfly pea flower so you'll see here it comes out a nice sort of purplish bluish color a little bit of acidity there's a reaction that takes place and the purple turns into a nice light pink color when you support science world's class field trip bursary program you're investing in the future of thousands of underserved children every year and we can eat against each other okay so the fastest time of course way to the fly down this and i'll time that for us so Paulina challenged me, that's her creation right there, that's my creation, mine's a lot cuter, it's got a lot of fabric, it's heavy, there's going to be less friction. Do you think I'll win over me? I don't know, I have no confidence at all. <laughs> chance to do an outro yesterday just because I got a little too rowdy and there's this too much noise and music going on so I figured I'd save it till today to give you guys kind of a recap of how the event went so last night there ended up being over 1,500 attendees and they raised two hundred thousand um, dollars I think it was a way more than that but that was their goal and they exceeded the expectation first of all um, Science of Cocktails in itself, it's a charity event, so all the proceeds go toward Science World Class Field Trip Bursary, quite a mouthful, 
and basically it's to help children be able to go on field trips when they can't really afford it which is a really good cause to begin with science of cocktails itself is is truly a wonderful event i think after coming for two years in a row i must say that it's very well organized there's tons of cocktails to choose from you get over 30 cocktails to choose from not including food and there's also non-alcoholic beverages there's something for everyone another thing that i really really loved about the event is they really do try to incorporate science into their cocktails i think every year they try to do a little bit more to kind of top their competition and that's what makes it so great it's really about being able to have kind of the best bartenders in the city all in one place and getting to try all their labors of love and all their different concoctions a little price info for context general tickets are 159 dollars and then the vip one is around 289 dollars the difference between the general and the vip one is that the vip people get to show up an hour early before it's open to the public and that way you're kind of not having to wait in line also speaking to some of the vip people they also got really nice souvenirs to take home this year it was a cute little muddler and i think last year it was a light up coaster that they had to build themselves if you're curious and you really really do want to check it out they're already selling tickets for 2019 general tickets are 125 and then the vip tickets are 225 so you are saving a bit of money science world itself is still open for you to check out so all the exhibits that they have that are featured at the time you can definitely go it's just a great experience all around i think there's way more to it than just oh we're drinking cocktails you're learning things you're trying different things you're you know going to the actual science world which for someone like me who's grown up in vancouver uh for most of my life it's definitely a good childhood experience to have definitely show up early for anything so be early when you buy the tickets be early when it's open to the public because it gets super packed there which makes for a great atmosphere but at the same time if you know you're trying to get to the best drinks and there's a long lineup that could take away from the experience Another thing I want to mention is they give you this beautiful little booklet that I kind of gave you a sneak preview of in the beginning of the video And it actually includes the recipes to most if not all the cocktails that you sample that night So let's say you had a really good gin and tonic and you wanted to recreate that recipe It's all in the booklet. They gave one last year as well And I really enjoyed just all the little thoughtfulness that they try to put in science of cocktails. Overall, it's a wonderful event for a good cause and it's just a night of good company and good drinks and good food and I do highly recommend it. I know it's a little far away now, but hopefully I can go again next year and show you guys what they have. And hopefully if you're interested and you're in Vancouver or you already are in Vancouver and you've heard of it, you'll get your ticket and you'll go to. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe and join me on my next adventure. See you next video, bye.